Now let me show you how the workbook will basically look like for uh, compensation. So as I said, we will be discussing for the only for the compensation. So let your uh, workbook get open and I'll show that how this detail uh, it comes in terms of a workbook compensation. And okay, so now we will see the same thing team. Uh, this is a workbook for your compensation along with the document. A uh, team would have shared uh, this workbook also with you. So we have seen the workbook into your uh, um, in your uh, employee central, right? So same thing, you can see it is coming here also. You have a cover sheet. So in your cover sheet, it is like very clearly like, you know, it's a compensation worksheet. So whenever you are working on the workbook team, like always download the latest workbook. And I have already shown to you that how you can download the latest workbook in your introduction to mastery, right? For some people, I have not covered introduction to mastery. Once we are done with all the module, then I'll again cover your introduction to mastery. Then you can see there is a table of content, like what all table of content, you can see there's a lot of table of content. There's an introduction we have discussed. There is a link. There is an open item. Open item, which means if there is anything which is open, you can specify here and circulate that within your client and within your company so that you know everybody knows that what is open and what is pending in the system. Iteration changes. Iteration, which means like after the testing has been done and if there is any changes which is required. So that's something you are specifying. Then this is a data integration. Like you can see all these, um, your uh, field which is coming. How do you want this field? What data you want, right? When do you want this to display, right? So all these eligibility rule, if there is any eligibility rule, so here you can see, for example, used to, actually eligibility rule, it's of two types. One, it is like when you give permission to an employee in the starting, like all employees are eligible. So in that case, what you do, you create an eligibility rule to remove unwanted employee. That's a one option. Second option it is when you have not included any employee, then you create an eligibility rule to include employee in a template. So same way here also you can see use to exclude employee from the worksheet. So whom do you want to include, exclude the employee, you know, so like that you can also write the eligibility rule. So depends upon whichever way you feel comfortable, you can include the eligibility rule. Then this is data field mapping. So this is like, how do you do all these field mapping into the system? And then there is a test to be there, advanced setting to be there. How do you want this? All these detail team, we will see into your coming session, how you do all these advanced setting and how do you want this general and salary and the general setting? So these are the same question. If you remember here also, we have seen like in the salary company, questionnaire like so they have copied the same question here all right so here you can see team you have your um it's the same question basically like which is coming in the general business process right it's just that they have put that the same question in the workbook also like workflow at the high level who will be conducting the workflow right who are the responsible people who will be doing the salary tab configuration right so you can see it's a very similar question. I'm not discussing this again because we have already discussed like planning, wage type, what component, what component not to be included, right? Uh, the rating which has to be included, promotion if has to be there, then what has to be promoted, rate type, final salary, how this has to be there, right? Comp ratio, range penetration, budget if it has to be there, how the budget has to be calculated, eligibility, who will be eligible, then there is a report and communication right so you have your report and communication also here so you can see the data integration calibration miscellaneous right so all these details we have already discussed route map here uh in your this sheet when we were talking about team we also discuss about the route map right which is a workflow normally majority of the time uh if company either they go ahead with the three level of workflow or the four level of workflow so the first level of workflow it comes to the admin like uh, compensation admin, who's going to be the compensation admin? We are going to be the compensation admin. 
then once a compensation had been received of why we launched the form first the compensation admin so so that compensation administrator can check that all the forms are working absolutely fine and there is no issue with the form so once the forms are working absolutely fine uh, then what they do they pass on to the manager that's a second level and if they have a three level of reporting then they they will do the pass on to the hr so that's it uh, from compensation admin to manager to hr but if they have a four level of then in that case they also include managers manager also right so but normally it is like three level of rating only majority of the time that you will see so here also you can see all these rating how do you want this form layout to be happen no i don't think so i have in my system the template which i can show you but here you can see how the form layout it will happen like these are the basic setting for your form and from here like what do you want to include in the current salary this is a group and this is a column we will see how we can configure this group and column when we will be doing the regular uh, configuration so here you can see this pay range like this is a group and this is a column what do you want to include in the pay range column current pay grade pay range uh, comp ratio right then you also have a planning amount this is a group and this is a column so you can create your own group and you can also create your own column also or right, so like this you can see all these formula and promotion this is a group this is column right so what all formula you want you can specify all these detail then there is a budget budget we have already spent some time in today's discussion that how do you want this budget to be there like a uh, percentage of a current salary percentage of a merit lump sum lump sum to uh, delta of a current salary direct amount guideline percentage of a bonus percentage of a current fee right so like this also you can specify all these budget compensation profile what is compensation profile compensation profile team like for example we this is 2023 it is going on let's suppose you were there in the company in 2022 also you were there in the company in 2021 also and you were also there in the company in 2020 also so you want to see all three year data into your compensation that how much was the salary and how much increase it has you receive right so all so that's something which you can use in the compensation profile like for example here you can see 2008 2009 2010 2011 and you can also see the variable pay and salary detail also right how much was the variable pay for the employee and how much is the salary which has increased for the employee right so like this you will see all these detail in a system and here also you can see the chart and everything salary and uh you know like the new salary it is coming how much right so all these sections that you will see then there is a guideline matrix if there is any guideline which you want to specify so here you can see all these guideline is coming here like for usa it is like from 85 to one person like there's a rating one right so like this team you can specify all these guys and then there is a currency conversion currency conversion like for example if you're doing it uh like for example team if you remember yesterday when we were talking about uh, functional currency local currency and planner currency planner currency we discussed about uh your manager is in spain right and you're an indian so since uh, you know so manager can convert your indian currency into the spain currency and can see uh, how much you're getting in terms of a spain currency and then they can offer you uh, you know to come to spain permanently so like this also you can specify all these currency conversion like how you know in terms of a certain currency how much it will come pay matrix is nothing it's just your uh, you know like each pay level how much you're getting minimum and maximum salary right so that also then there is a lookup table lookup table is a custom formula if you want to calculate certain uh, custom formula in your compensation so that also you can select um, and you can do your custom formula lookup table and again team these are the formula based calculation that again something we will see with a regular session like for example here they have done with a country wise and they have added some formula right here so I will also show you that how you can add certain formula with your lookup table. Then you have a bonus. Bonus is like into your variable pay. And then you have a layout for, again, this team bonus is basically it's for your variable pay. This is a stock. How do you want the form layout to be happen? Like all these detail you can see. 
these are the form layout and how the calculation to take place. So like this also, we will see all these section form layout and the calculation. The stock option, then you have a stock value, stock factor table, email notification if it has to trigger anything. And then there is a compensation statement. Like a uh, compensation statement is nothing, it's just your um, appraisal letter. Right. If you want to give an appraisal letter to your employee, what all it should be included, which logo, what it should be aligned to the left title, everything. Right. So you can see you can go ahead and make these changes. How we can make all these changes. That's something again people see with the regular session because it's just a theory. Right. So but all these details you will be able to see into your compensation statement. Then you have a spot award anything which is the spot award and then the signature so this is what team you can see you will be doing with your all these your compensation and with this we have finished off with the theory for compensation and practicals we're going to start it from monday